welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad, in which we would look at the Dow Industrial Average, which is a price weighted index. We're going to look at how it's computed, its weakness, and its strength. This topic is covered in an essential of investment course or principles of an investment course, undergraduate or graduate. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,700 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as, as well as Excel tutorial. If you like my lessons, please like them, share them, put them in playlist. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. Connect with me on Instagram. On my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional material to supplement your education, whether you are studying finance or accounting or studying for your CPA or CMA exam. So what is the Dow and the Dow Jones Industrial and what's the purpose of it? Basically, the purpose of it is to look at a single index and, and gauge the strength or the weakness of how well we are doing in the economy. That's the purpose of the indice is one number tells you what's going on in the economy. When, how was it created? It was created by two individuals, Charles Dow and Edward Jones, which this was a newspaper editor and a statistic, statistician. And what they did a back then in the 1800, late 1800, they combined the 12 industrial companies at that time as a single tool, as a single gauge to measure the performance of the economy. Now, obviously, now the Dow is not 12. The Dow is 30, uh, 30 companies, 30 blue chip corporation. But it started at, eight, uh, at 1896. At some point, it was only 20 companies up until 1928. So the Dow originally, historically, when it first started, was calculated as the average price of the stocks included in the index. Simply put, you'll take the stocks included, the price of the 30 stocks in, divided by 30. And this is, how, this is how you find how well the Dow industry, how well the Dow doing or how bad it's doing. Okay, so the value of this portfolio, so if you have hold one share of stock in this index is the sum of the 30, price, 30 prices because it's a simple average, okay? Because any change, because the percentage change in the average of the 30 prices is the same as the percentage change in the sum of the 30 prices. Therefore, the index and the portfolio had the same percentage and change each day. So the amount of the money that you invested, let's assume you invested some money in each company in that portfolio is proportional to the company's share price. So that's why we say it's an important important thing to remember that the Dow is a price weighted average. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at a simple, when the Dow was created, what do we mean by price weighted average and how is the price weighted average is computed today? So I'm going to take you to the Excel sheet and work a simple example to start our exploration. To illustrate this concept, let's assume we, are, we, have, we have an index and we only have two companies. So rather than 32 companies, ABC company and XYZ company, we have the beginning price and the ending price. For ABC, it started at 25, went up to 30. The change in ABC company is $5. The percentage change, which is 5 divided by the beginning price, the, ch the percentage change is 20%. So ABC went up 20%. XYZ company, the beginning price is 100, the ending price is 90, therefore XYZ stock went down by $10, it went down by 10%, 100 divided by, 10 divided by 100 equal to um, uh, 10%. Now let's take a look at the overall portfolio, the beginning balance, the beginning value of the stocks is 125, the ending value is 120, the change is negative five, and the change is negative 4%. This is for the portfolio. Let's find the average. The average is basically we have two stock. So we're going to take 125 divided by 2. And the ending is 120 divided by 2. Same thing. We're going to find the difference between the two, the average prices. And obviously, the average of this index, the average of the index is 4%, just like with the performance of the portfolio. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is this. Although one stock, ABC company, went up 20%, notice the stock went up substantially. You should be like, wow, this is a huge performance, okay, went up 20%, and the other stock went down 10%. Overall, the portfolio went down 4%. So how is that possible? Well, it's possible because it's price-weighted uh, index. Why? How, what do you mean by price weighted? It means if your stock price is higher, 
it's going to affect the overall return of the portfolio because you are computing the overall based on the price. The first thing you want to know is about the Dow, it's price sensitive. So the higher the stock price is in the Dow, the higher is the effect on the Dow, on the Dow industrial average. Okay, so this is, but basically this is a simple illustration just to show you what's happening. So if you're saying that's the case, let's take a look at a sample Dow. So those are the 30 companies in the Dow Industrial. Let me just make it a little bigger. So those are the 30 companies, Pfizer, McDonald, Intel, all of them. And this is the closing price of June 16th, 2020. So if we, if we add up all the prices, they will add up to 3,833. But the average price, if we take this number divided by 30, the average price is 127.77. Well, the Dow closed at... The Dow closed at 26,190. So the question is why, if it's price weighted, it should be 127.77. Why did it close at 26,190? So you might be wondering why in June, if it's at average price, why is it that much? The reason is it's no longer the, uh, the, no longer the average price of all 30 stocks are equal. So you no longer divide by 30. The divisor, what you do, the divisor changes. When does it change? It changes over the years. When there's a stock split over the years, when there's when a company pays a 10% or more in stock dividend, or when one company leaves the Dow and it's replaced by another company. And, and that happens on a regular basis because remember, those 30 companies in the Dow, they have to represent the economy. When a company becomes irrelevant to the economy, we have to remove it and replace it by a mo by a company that reflects what's going on in the economy. So let's go back to this example. ABC and XYZ company, and let's assume the following just to kind of illustrate the point. So XYZ company, um, a, um, XYZ and ABC, uh, ABC is still in the same position. We're not going to change anything for ABC company. The beginning price is 20, the ending price is 30. However, XYZ had a two for one split. It means for every uh, share they gave you two. When that happens, it means your stock will be cut in half. Therefore, XYZ price is adjusted rather than 100. Now the price is 50. Why? Because again, we had a stock split and for every one share they gave you two, therefore the stock price is is adjusted. Also, also the ending price is adjusted as well. Therefore, rather than 90, the ending price is 45. Now let's take a look at the dollar difference. The dollar difference now is $5. And if we find the percentage difference, the percentage difference is 10%, which is the same, 10%, 10%. Now let's find the total. Let's find the total. Simply put, we'll take 25 plus 50, because now this is the new total. And the ending total is 30 plus 45. Notice what happened now. The change overall for the total portfolio is zero. And if the change is zero, the percentage is zero. Now let's find also the average for the index based on these averages based on the two stocks average and what's going to happen is the average is 75 divided by 2 and 75 divided by 2 therefore the average the change is zero and the change is zero so notice what happened nothing really happened to the economy in a sense that you know the economy is better off or worse off all what happened went from four percent four percent reduction uh, from the beginning of the period till the end to an improvement to zero no change in the in the uh, in the stock uh, no change in the index it means it's an improvement it means if you invested in the dow now you are at no loss before you are at a loss of four percent now why does the, why this why did this happen this happened simply because this stock price xyz the company decided to do a stock split now when this happens when this happens in the real world yes the the index will reflect would reflect a zero a zero change because that that's exactly what happened and this is one of the weaknesses in the Dow that that it's price sensitive so this change is correct but what we have to do we have to find a new divisor so the divisor is no longer two remember here so how do we find the new divisor we have to go back to this number we have to go back to this divisor of 62.5 this way we kind of we are comparing oranges to oranges so what's going to happen going forward we have to find a new divisor now how do we compute the new divisor very simple we're going to take 25 25 plus 50 25 plus 50 
and we're gonna we're gonna divide 2550 divided by d which is the unknown and that's gonna give us 62.5 which is the beginning the beginning average well if we divide we're gonna get the divisor now is 1.2 simply put when I go to compute my new average I'm gonna take cell d9 divided by 1.2 my new divisor and take d10 divided by 1.2 that's my new divisor yes my return is still zero however my my divisor changed for the future so in the future if i still have those two portfolio when there's any changes when i compute the average i i compute my new divisor and this new divisor is is, is constantly changing is constantly changing for the DAO. for example this divisor for the DAO was 0 0.1 for approximately 0.145 in 2018 now let me show you the new divisor as of June as of June 16 I computed you know I added up all the prices for the Dow 3833 and the Dow Dow closed that day Dow closed that day for twenty six thousand one hundred ninety dollars at twenty six one ninety it means the divisor is one point four six so we're going to be working with this divisor to show you so the divisor now is 0.146 why is it 1.46 because over the years this divisor has been adjusted for stock split stock dividend and when one company leaves the Dow and another company is replaced so let's show you the price sensitivity of it so to show you the price sensitivity what I did is I graphed all the prices of the Dow and notice Apple here has a high price versus Pfizer which have a low price so let's assume on June 17th which is on June 17th the following happened so I'm gonna change once one variable at a time to illustrate the point so let's assume on June 17th all the so remember the the index closed at 26190 26190 and let's assume only one thing changed and that thing is uh, Apple was 352 remember Apple is is, is has a high price in the Dow and it went up 2% so I'm gonna change Apple from 352.08 and I'm gonna multiply it by the price went up on June 17 the following day by 2% so the price multiply by let me change the, let me fix this okay now it, it's fixed multiply by 1.02 now the price of Apple is rather than 352 it's 359 let's see what happened to the price of the Dow the Dow went from 26190 26190 to 26238 so notice by 0.02 2 percent of the Dow so let's find the um, let's find the uh, change 26 238 minus 26 190 the Dow went up um, 48 points okay just by ink by increasing Apple by 2 percent okay and the percent increase is 0.18 as far as percentage okay and 0.18 percent so this is for Apple so let's go back and put Apple uh, go, put uh, uh, go back to Apple to 352 and what I'm gonna do rather than changing Apple I'm gonna increase Pfizer I'm gonna increase Pfizer by 2% so Pfizer was $33.40 I'm gonna multiply it by 1.0 to increase Pfizer by 2% and what happened I'm using the same divisor now so notice notice now the Dow went up by 4.65 points so notice with Pfizer the same percentage only four points I went up to 26,194 with Apple it went up by 48 points okay so notice the the difference notice the difference why because Apple uh, the Dow is price sensitive it's price weighted so the stock with the higher price stock with the higher price it's gonna affect the 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 index on a larger scale so that's what we mean by price sensitive and this is one problem with the Dow it's price sensitive okay and kind of um, a, a nice not nice story real story is um, Apple before they joined the Dow they they had they had a $700 price or around $700 what they had to do they had to do seven for one split so what they did is a few had I remember I did had I did have some Apple shares so if I had 
uh, if I had 700 shares of Apple, I wish I did, but I, let's assume I had 700 shares of Apple, I woke up the next day, actually I had more, uh, if I had, let's assume I had 100 shares of Apple, if I had 100 shares of Apple at $700, I woke up the, the following day, th so those are the shares, I woke up the following day and I had 700 shares, but the price was 100. Why did Apple had to do the split? Apple had to do the split because if they joined the Dow and they had a price of 700, they would have, they would have had a great effect on the Dow. Now, although they, they went down to 100, now they're back to 350. I could assure you, if Apple keeps on going up to like 400 or 450, the Dow will ask them to, to do a split. Why? Because when your when your price is very high, you will affect the you will affect the uh, the index much heavily. So that's what we're trying to say by price uh, price weighted index. Let's take a look at sample companies. For example, I do I do remember when Apple was added to to the Dow Industrial. Um, uh, why? Because I used to care. I used to had as I told you, I had Apple stocks, and it it replaced North American. Um, there was a big deal that GE <laughs> was the company that survived since 1928. But guess what? GE was replaced a couple of years ago. It was replaced by Walgreens, a pharmaceutical company. So although GE, everyone would say, oh, GE was always been of the Dow, even GE is gone. All the Dow original from 1928, they're all gone. For example, Sears, Sears Reebok is replaced by Home Depot. GM is replaced by Intel. Chrysler was replaced by IBM, so on and so forth, and they'll tell you the industry. So you have to be very, again, you have to be very careful because you're only selecting 30 companies, 30 companies to, to do what? To, to, to reflect everything that's going on in the economy. And that's what's going to take us next to the next topic to talk about the S&P 500. For one thing, it's 500 companies. It has its own, it has its own disadvantages. We'll talk about them in a moment and in the next session. But the point is rather than 30 companies, you're looking at 500 companies and it's market value weighted index versus a price weighted index. So this is the next topic. So if you like this recording, please like it, share it. If it benefits you, it means it might benefit other people. As always, I would like to remind you to visit my website, farhatlectures.com for additional resources. If you are studying for your CPA, CFA exam, CMA exam, study hard, invest in your career, success is worth it. Good luck.